big crowd. Yeah. Well, and also he's the youngest of eight children, so like he, he when we go to visit his family for the holidays, it's like visiting a small town. So this is like his rock and roll family. So I said, just it's like you're at home. We win the prize for the most decadent man. Yeah. Not that I'm aware of, but yeah, I know. I think he'll be okay once he gets going. Probably the initial start. I mean, we'll work we were but I know he's very much looking uh, forward to it and honored. So but I don't, you know, really remember, nor will I tell most of the story. Because yeah. it's a big yeah. deal, you know. I want to ask him about, um, yeah. is it just talk about the, the people that are here, obviously you've met one of the heroes. Yeah. Yeah. A great sort of crowd, a great time for classic rock. It seems to carry on having yeah. a new fan base. Yeah. There's no, I, with the Stones and CZ Top doing bigger tours than they've ever done. For a guy like me who's 48, it's like, oh, I have my whole career in front of me. And the bands, you know, the quality of musicians, there's no retirement age anymore. It's not 62, it's not 65, it's not 70, who knows what it is. So, um, it's timeless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I don't know what, th that's not a commentary on newer bands. I think there's a whole great spectrum of, of music and, and younger fans are getting into vintage stuff. And then ZZ Top just made a new, like, fresh, powerful record with Rick Rubin. That's as contemporary and modern as anything else. So, how are you going <laughs> to... It's pretty exciting. We can ask everyone to about the rock and roll behavior, whether everyone's going to go home and put their feet up at the end of the I will. I, I will. Great. Yeah. Let's go to the Playboy party. Play, yeah. <laughs> Last year we got to drink Motorhead wine and invites to the Playboy party. So 